Keep your fingers crossed for the weather, Rachel. Rachel? What's wrong? I, um, I don't really want to go on the picnic. Why not? What's going on, Graham? Knock it over. What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to do it washing up, huh? You've been quiet all weekend. Have I? You know you have. Well, what is it? Come on. Well, come on, Roy. We're getting married in a couple of weeks. Not no secrets between us. No. No. Do you love me, Colour? What sort of question's that? Do you? You know I do. And you sure about that? I'm marrying you, aren't I? Why? Why? Yeah, why? Cos I love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yeah. Roy, most important person in my life. <laughs> Miss Strickland got it completely wrong. How? Oh, she seemed to think that you'd be handing your notice in at the end of term. Of course I'm not. I warned her that I might hand in my notice after the way the school's treated you. Rachel, you know I'm disgusted at the way the school's handled this whole business. Okay. But what about the job applications? <sighs> Testing the water. Seeing what's in the market, I, I was going to talk it through with you today on the picnic. But we've already done that. And I've made it quite clear, I don't want to leave the village. I, I know. So why are you doing this after everything we've discussed? I'm not. I, I'm just trying to keep our options open. Well, that'd look like I was running away. I, I know. Look, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm being too protective. It, it's just... I thought, well... If things don't go well for you after you've seen the union rep, if things are, get too much for you here, then we could consider the option of moving away, starting afresh together. But I should have realised. You're a fighter and you don't run away. No, I don't. So we'll stay. We'll stay and we will fight this together. Come on. Let's not spoil today. It's going to be really special. Uh, nope. Uh, yes. That's what I do. Very nice, Ray. See you tonight, little fella. Have a nice time with your dad. Don't be gone. Graham, don't you? I know you're probably too young to understand, but I think I should tell you. Graham's going to be moving back to his own cottage. So, when you get home tonight, he's, um, he's not going to be here. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> of course you don't. I'm sorry. How am I going to tell him? You used to have a Roy's last night? Yeah. Make us a cup while you're at it. Is uh, everything all right? What do you mean? You and Roy. Why shouldn't it be? No reason. You haven't been stirring it again, have you? No. Scott, please. I'm asking you, don't spoil this for me. Please. Well, why can't you take him with you to the picnic? He'd love it. Because Graham and I want to be on our own. Oh, pardon Joseph for spoiling your cosy little love tryst. Oh, God. Oh, for goodness sake, Rachel, it's not like you're starry-eyed lovers. You've been together for months. Graham and I have got things we need to talk about. 
You mean the drugs business? Will you take him or won't you? Do I have a choice? I'll pick him up at 5.30. Here you go. Some here. Are you listening to me? This is not your normal sort of load, you know. Do you realise that? I'm an experienced driver, Mr Pollard. <laughs> At your age, <laughs> I hardly think so. They're not tins of dog food, you know. They're antiques. A bit like yourself. Valuable and fragile antiques, so you have to be very, very careful. I'm always careful. Now, how's a little girl like you going to be able to lift these heavy boxes? This little girl has got help. All right. Good. Managed to get away from his claws for a little while, have you? Sorry. Graham, he's let you off the lead. That's very kind of him. Keep your malicious thoughts to yourself, Eric. So when are you going to finish with him? Excuse me. Working out how to tell him, are you? Even if I was thinking of leaving Graham, you'd be the last person on earth I would tell. Ah, so you are going to leave him. Mind your own business, Eric. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> You're getting excited. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, and how about Roy? Showing any nerves yet? I think he has. This morning he was all sort of insecure. It's yep. dead sweet. <laughs> He's a good lad. He'll look after you. Yeah. I know. <sighs> hi, Cathy. Oh, hi, Rachel. I've got a table ready in five minutes. Uh, I actually, I wanted to chat with you. <sighs> Sorry, Rachel, we're snowed under. dinner tonight. Um, Was it important? Yeah. Here. Seven o'clock at my place. Sorry, Rachel. Cheers, Marlon. Thanks. All right. You all right? Yeah. Everything all right? I mean, with Rachel? Uh, yeah, she just wanted to chat. Must be worried about the meeting with the union rep tomorrow. Well, why don't you call around after the dinner rush? I mean, I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Yeah. Yourself, don't you? It wasn't my fault, it was yours. You can't blame me. How could you think about leaving me after everything I'd done for you? Closing a chapter in my life, Rachel. This had been the happiest day of my life. June the 19th, 1993. Why are you looking at them? Having a clear out. You can't look back, can you? You need your memories. Yes, I, I suppose you do, but... It's the future I'm more concerned about now. You make me very happy, Rachel, you know. Do I? I don't think you realise it, because I probably don't tell you enough. Only two weeks to the big day now, Kelly. I know. I'm dead excited. This is Kelly Glover. It has a lovely ring to it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Though it doesn't quite trip off the tongue like Benice oh. Ferris. BF. So, uh, when are you planning on getting married? Wedding bells could be just around the corner, couldn't they, Gavin? You never know. So, when are you going to make an honest woman with then, Gavin? You name the day, I'll get the rings. Hmm, I'll hold you to that. You can hold me any time you like. All the pebbles on the beach and I found a diamond. Mm. Of course you have. How can you flirt with me when you're engaged to Benice? Surely the question has to be, how can I not flirt with you? You're irresistible. 
Gavin? Seriously, I'm just a man with a weakness. I can't resist beautiful women. You're impossible. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Mind you. <clears throat> I do not think about that is. Graham? Yeah? I, I don't really want to go on a picnic. Why not? I don't know. I, I just don't. Don't be silly. It'll do you good to get out of the village. I'm not sure. And I know once we're there, you'll relax and you'll really enjoy yourself. Even so, Rachel, I... Rachel, this is going to be a special day, I promise you. Oh, hi. This is a nice surprise. You all right? Just wanted to check to see how you are. Oh, where are you going? I'm taking Rachel on a picnic. It's a nice idea. Yeah, that's what I thought, but Rachel seems to be having second thoughts about it. Why? I don't know. I, I just feel... You know, I... Rachel, you're mad. You need cheering up after what's happened to you. Exactly. That's what I said. Go on and enjoy yourself. You will. Oh, go on. I'll see you tonight. gonna be all right. Yeah, I hope so. She'll be fine. Scott! Scott! You were lying about that, weren't you? Tell us. Just tell me, Scott. I was lying. Is there anything you wouldn't do to stop us marrying? You're gonna get out of my way. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to hurt us? She loves me. Yeah? Look, she told me I'm the most important person in her life, Scott. You only soon find out, wouldn't you? You're sick in the head! OK, Roy, do you want to know the truth? No, she doesn't love you. And she will never love you. And do you know why? Because she's in love with me. You're lying. And yeah, we did sleep together at the own farm party. And it was great. And the only reason she's going out with, with a joke like you is because she can't face the truth with me. It's just great. Yeah. You've still not come out of it, have you? Uh, Graham, there's something that I need to... Uh, don't say any more. I know this drugs business has got you down, but what I'm about to say is going to make all that seem trivial. Come on, we're going for a walk. I'll get this lot in the boot. Can you get your jacket from the car? Isn't it nice here? So quiet, peaceful. Yeah. Bet you're glad you came now. Graham. We needed a day like this after what you've been through. But Graham, we need to talk. I know. I know we do. That's why I brought you out here. We need to sort things out between us. You're absolutely right. No, I mean, I, I need to talk to you about our future. Our future together. <laughs> That's amazing. Sorry? Well, so do I. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think we're almost telepathic. <laughs> Let's wait till we get to the headland. It's the most romantic place I know. See him again. Knocking it back a bit, ain't ya? Shouldn't you be working? Just cut the chat and do it the pay for Trish. All right, who's rattled your cage? Right, I'll be off then, Gavin. All right, where to? To do my Florence Nightingale with the lamp bit. To see Alan. What, again? A bit keen, aren't you? Well, I've a lot to thank Alan for. And I believe he appreciates the contribution I've already made to this pub. I bet he does. Punters must come from miles around to see you pulling a paint. A minor exaggeration, Gavin, but I like it. Mm. Oh, we make a great team behind this bar, don't we, Gavin? 
And you've already made a good impression on Alan. Who knows where your future lies? You two will manage on your own, won't you? Oh, I think so. She's flashed them come to bed eyes after the lads in the village. Oh, you've nothing to worry about. She'll not work her magic on me. I know I can trust you. Just keep an eye on her. Oh, I certainly will. Than I, am. Oh, I don't know. Just younger. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, look at that view. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're so lucky. Day off school, this view, and a chance for the two of us to be alone together. I brought you up here for a purpose, Rachel. But I think you've already guessed, haven't you? I'm, I'm not sure. I think you have. Look, Rachel, I, I, I know I've not been the easiest person to live with. Organising your life, thinking I know what's best for you, but I've only done it because I care about you. I, I believe you, Graham. It's just it keeps happening again and again. No, I, and... I, I'll change. I will. I, I, I'll try and change. Believe me, Rachel, I'll do anything for you. I know, I know. I, and I've never felt like this about anyone. Not even my wife. That's why... I'm asking you to marry me. Back it up and I'll sort out the antiques. So what do you say? It's, it, it, I think it's too soon. <laughs> too soon? We're living together. I know, I know, I know, but... <laughs> but what? I, I'm just not sure, Graham. Why? Well, why are you not sure? Because it's, it's difficult, it's difficult. I... Look, you said that you're going to change. But you've said that before. How can I believe that's going to happen? I mean, I want to, but how can I be sure? Rachel, you can, I promise. You know it's much easier for a couple to say, this isn't working, what's the point of making a commitment? But, Rachel, not in our case. We've got so much going for us. You really think so? Of course. And I thought you did. I thought you'd realised I was going to ask you to marry me and you were happy about it. I thought you'd got over your doubts. <sighs> Look, how often do we find someone we, we love and, and care about? Well, not often. Exactly. We could spend the next ten years searching the globe and never find the happiness we've got now. Rachel, I love you more than I've ever loved anyone. And I think you feel the same, don't you? Sometimes I, I feel so close to you and... Others out. I know, I, I know. That's my fault. Look, if two people find they've got something special, they, they have to fight to keep it. Oh, yeah, I believe that. And we have. And what's more, we, we share so much already. The, the same interests, similar ambitions, we're intellectually equal. Rachel, we mustn't throw this opportunity away. We can work these problems out together. You're so romantic, aren't you? <laughs> of course. Relationships are so important to me. That's why I can never get involved lightly. And I know it's the same for you. And I'm not surprised you've got doubts after the disappointments of your past relationships, but... Rachel, I won't disappoint you. I want to share the rest of my life with you. I'll make you very happy, I promise. Try it on for size, please. Has anyone ever told you you've got come to bed eyes? Will you stop it? I can't. <laughs> Go 
Come on, turn this. I'll have a word, Roy's a mate. See him again. I don't think that's a good idea, Roy. I said see him again. I think you've had enough already. Oh, what would you know? Look, are you going to serve me or not? No. I'm not talking to you. Out now. Gavin! Come on, get out. Get off me. Gavin, will you stop it? Roy, is there something wrong? Take him into the back room, let him sober up. Are you serious? Well, he ain't normally like this. Something the matter. This is really special. Something we'll always remember. That ring really suits your hand. It's lovely. Thank you. No more doubts about getting married? Well, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm like 99% certain. I've still got a slight niggle, but I really do love you. <laughs> I don't think I realised before just how much you love me, too. And I know it's a really big step for you to ask me to marry you after what happened to you before. Well, to be honest, I haven't quite told you everything. Uh oh. We were never as happy as... as I... Look, look, you don't have to tell me. No, no, I, I do. In the months before she... she died, things between us weren't good. I know I blame myself for her death, but... she did change. She wasn't the person I thought she was. In, in what way? I thought I knew her, but I didn't. I hope we never get like that. Ow. Can you be a little more careful, please? Some of these items are very valuable. Will you stop going on about it? We know what we're doing. I sincerely hope you do. I don't want us to make the same mistakes as Rebecca and I made. You know how I told you I neglected her when she got depressed? Well, there was more to it than that. You see, we'd already started taking each other for granted, not valuing what we had. Oh, that sounds familiar. Well, to be honest, she started taking me for granted. And the thing is, I, I work very hard at relationships. You see, I, I don't believe marriage should be taken lightly. Well, nor do I. So, it was very worrying when she wanted to change things. Sorry, what, what do you mean? Well, marriage is a partnership, isn't it? Uh, yes. We've both got roles to play. Rebecca knew hers, but she wanted to change it. Well, what's wrong with that? People do change, they develop. Of course they do. Graham, people aren't robots. Their needs change over the years and their emotions. Rachel, please, don't lecture me. You weren't there, you don't know what I had to go through. Look, all I'm saying is... Rachel! I don't want to talk about Rebecca anymore. Uh, OK, if, if it upsets you... It does. Come on. I won't let Rebecca spoil our day. She's the past. You're the future. What's the matter, Roy? I ain't never seen you like this before. Is it Kelly? Have you had a row or something? Oh, come on, Roy. You'll feel better if you talk about it. You will? It's Kelly, isn't it? What's happened? I found some old... Oh, well, I... I can't believe it. What? Come on, Roy. Scott said these terrible things about her. I don't believe them, but what if they're true? I don't understand. Roy? Scott said he slept with Kelly. How soon would you like to get married? Well, there's no, no rush. In a few weeks? A few weeks? <laughs> Why not? What's the point in waiting? We both know what we want. Also, that'll give us all summer to sell our houses. What? 
Well, don't you want your dream house? One we both own? Graham, you're going too fast. And, of course, the other factor we have to take into account is that house prices are more expensive down south. Sorry? Well, I know you said you didn't want to leave the village. No, I don't! You're not seeing things straight because of the mental pressure you've been under. Graham, you're doing it again. No, I'm not. Have you not listened to anything that I've said? Rachel, can't you see how I'm trying to look after your long-term interests? That's my role. Y your role? Hang on a minute. Rachel, don't interrupt. We need to start a new life. No past, just a future. So, how about June the 19th? June the 19th? Yes. Isn't... isn't that when you married Rebecca? Yes. But this time we won't get it wrong, will we? It's not true. You are? Scott's lying. How do you know? He couldn't have slept with Kelly. Look, you're just saying this to make me feel better, Trisha. No, I'm not. Oh, don't mess me about, please. <laughs> Listen, Roy, Scott weren't capable of sleeping with Kelly. He's impotent. <laughs> well, he has been since his dad died. <laughs> you are joking. No, I'm not. You sure? Well, from personal experience, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best wedding present you could have ever given me. <laughs> Cheers, Trisha. Oh, this is brilliant. I can't wait to tell Kelly. Rebecca and I got married in a register office. Thank you. I think that was a mistake. I'd like a traditional church wedding. Seems more of a commitment somehow. Don't you agree? Yes. This weekend, I think you should, uh, Go shopping for a wedding dress. You look lovely in white. The view from here is just fantastic. Tomorrow, I think we should go and talk with Ashley, set things in motion. Though I think the first person we should tell is Kathy. <laughs> She'd be really pleased for us. I don't know how Chris is going to take it, me being stepfather to Joseph. <laughs> it really is idyllic here. Oh, come and have a look at this view, Rachel. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Rachel? Rachel! go home. Why did you run away? You're listening to me. I want to go home. Shut up. You don't want to marry me, do you? That's why you ran away. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I can see it in your eyes. I do. Why are you lying to me? Please, I'm not. I want to go home. You took your engagement ring off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rachel, why are you doing this? I don't understand. Why? I don't know. I want to ask you a question, Rachel. What? I'm wanting to give you another chance. If you promise me something. What? I want you to promise you'll never leave me. Oh. Go on. I promise that I'll never leave you. Naya! You were leaving me then, weren't you? No! Weren't you? No! You were, weren't you? <laughs> weren't you? All right, I was! <laughs> Me again. 
This is a pleasant surprise, Bernice. Can't keep away, can I? Well, a friendly face is always welcome. And I have to say, Ellen, you're looking very much better. Yes, I feel better. A little more colour to your cheeks, if I may say so. So, uh, how, how's your Gavin? Oh, my Gavin. It's like he was born to bar work. He seems a very pleasant young man. I'll tell you the truth, Alan, I don't know how we would have managed without him. Well, what happened about Terry helping out? Well, we didn't need Terry with Gavin here. Tell you what, Alan, we've been looking after your pub like it was our very own. Oh, I'm glad I left the place in such capable hands. Uh, can I tell you something in confidence, Bernice? Confidentiality assured, Alan. Well, I've been mulling over things while I've been lying here, and I, I was wondering if the responsibility of running a pub might have brought on the attack. What are you saying, Alan? Well, don't tell Tricia, but I I'm thinking of selling the Woolpack. Oh, Alan, are you sure? But keep it to yourself, for the time being. Oh, I will. <laughs> Graham! Graham, will, I need you to help me. Will you help me? I think I've twisted my knee. What have I done? Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See you. I'll see you later. You sorted him out. How about looking after my needs? God, you're a right one, ain't you? Yeah. It's a shame we've got to look after the pub. Why? What are you suggesting? Oh, don't be so naive. I couldn't, Trish. I've got a conscience, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've got an idea. What? You go upstairs. I'll be up in a minute. Well, what about your conscience? I'll leave it down here. And the pub? Don't worry, I'll sort it. Go on. Anybody serving round here? Just come in, Seth. Go on. Two minutes. Sorry, Seth, mate, we're closing up. I've got a nip out. Closing up? You can't do that to any of us shorts. Well, Mr Turner's not here, is he? I'll tell you what. What? I'll help you out. You? Well, in an emergency, Turner always turns to me as a sort of relief barman. Really? Well, I have spent years in this bar. You wouldn't mind? It would be my pleasure. Right, you're on. Cheers, Seth. Graham, you're going to have to take me to hospital. I think I've torn a ligament. He betrayed me, Rachel. I'm sorry. He betrayed me and I can't trust you anymore. You can. Graham, I need to go to the hospital. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Don't tell me any more of your lies. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Did it go, Eric? Letting Frankie gives reckless driving a good name. Hey, come off it, Eric. Frankie's a great driver. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Better check everything, Stella, just in case. The way you took some of those corners, I think your future lies in Formula One. Have you seen this? Good grief! Look at this! This is due to your careless driving. It's worth at least five hundred pounds. You're not going, are you? Yeah. Why? But he sent you back yet. You know, if she ever found out, it would really hurt her. I know. Oh, Trisha, I feel so guilty. Oh yeah. I do. I can't work you out. Honest, Trish, I feel such a. Are you really thinking about marrying Bernice? You know my problem? I love women. I do. I love them. I can't get enough of them. Now, that don't go too well with marriage, does it? Bernice is absolutely crazy about you. I know. She wants what I can't give her. She wants someone strong who can look after her and be faithful. I don't really fit that bill now, do I? So what are you going to do? If I leave now, it'll probably be best for her. Leave now? Yeah. What? You mean, like, right now? Yeah. I'm sorry. About me and you. Thanks. 
mean it. You really are lovely. And how do you think I feel? Five minutes after sleeping with me and you're off. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I feel cheap. Look, it's nothing to do with you. I think you're great. I do. And... And under different circumstances, me and you, who knows? I can't stay here. You can't see that, can you? I'm sorry. <sighs> Do you remember the school trip to Bolton Abbey? And the fun run? <laughs> it wasn't much fun, was it? Oh, it was. That sealed it for me. I, I knew then I was going to spend the rest of my life with you. Deep down, I did. We're so good together. We're so good for each other. What's gone wrong? I, I don't know. I don't want to hurt you, Rachel. I I'm frightened I might hurt you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get that down in that one. Where's my staff? Uh, 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 um... Trisha, my Gavin. And who's serving? Well, as a matter of fact, you... Hi, Bernice. Uh, how's my granddad? Very well. He's looking much better. Good. Now, where's my Gavin? Uh, upstairs. Having a lie down? I suppose. Oh, bless him. Bet he never realised how tiring bar work can be on your feet all day. Yeah. I'll go up and give him a surprise. I'm sure you like that. Oh, and Seth, as the Woolpack's longest standing customer, would you like a pint? On the house, of course. Well, thank you very much. I won't say no. Come in, mate, everyone and all. <laughs> oh, so you managed to get up then. Trisha told me you've been in bed. Right, did she? What are you doing, Gavin? I, uh. I got a call. I have to get back early. You're not going, are you? You can't, and you won't want to after I tell you my news. What news? Oh, you won't believe it, Gavin. It's like everything's fallen into my lap. Oh, come on, what news? I'll pop the kettle on. We can chat over a cuppa. Hiya. Hiya. You've been drinking? Yeah. Well, you want to watch yourself. Lisa won't be too pleased. Well, she's not into that. Kelly, there's something I want to tell you. Sounds serious. You know, like, uh, I've been a bit off with you in the past few days. Already nerves, I know. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's because I was told something by, by Scott. Oh, yeah? Well, um, he said... He said, um, that he slept with you. What? Well, you didn't believe him, did you? Cos it's not true, honest. I, I don't Hang know why on, he said on, it. On, don't panic. I know it's not true. Cos um, I was told something else by Trisha. What? He said he's not being able to um, manage it, like, you know, since, since your dad died. What? He said um, that he couldn't, you know, with her. What's he doing here? Here he is, stood on the ear. <laughs> What's the big joke? You are, well, mate. You are. Well. Roy, can you leave us? Roy, please. <laughs> I think I need to sort this out. All right. Pleasure. Pleasure. Oh, and I thought I'd got problems. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? If there was some way we could 
stay together. Put this behind us. Well, maybe there is. No. Let's be honest, Rachel. There's, there's no way back for us now, is there? There is. There is. I still love you. No. Look, the reason that I ran away was because I needed space to think. I felt that. I felt as if you were railroading me into marriage and you weren't listening to anything I was saying. So I panicked and I ran. But I've never stopped loving you. I haven't. I just needed to clear my head. I don't believe you. It's true. All right, then. And if I take you back, what will you do? You'll go to the police, won't no. you? No. OK, so we go home and then what? We'll, we'll, we'll pretend this never happened? It was an accident. You didn't mean to push me. It was my fault. You lost your temper for a second because of what I did. That's right, I did. And I can understand it. I mean, I shouldn't have run away. I shouldn't have dropped your ring. I was wrong. I can understand how I hurt you. You did. Because you still love me, don't you? Yes. And I still love you. We've got to work it out. We have to. For, for us, we deserve it. We deserve happiness together. You, you mean it? Yes. Let it get to this, huh? I don't know. You, you, you drive me to the hospital, and then we can go home, both of us, together. And you'll never leave me. No. I can help you. We can get your help. What? Oh. What did you say? <laughs> help? <laughs> I don't need help. <laughs> this is between you and me. So what's this news, then? Alan told me this in strictest confidence. Yeah, go on. Gavin, he's selling the wool pack. Is that it? Well, can't you see what I'm saying, Gavin? This could be our golden opportunity. It's my dream come true. We could be the new landlord and landlady of the wool pack. <laughs> How can we afford it? We've got enough money between us for a deposit, haven't we? No. Look, I don't know how much you've got, but I've managed to save nothing. Gavin, you promised. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm just not very good with money. Oh, Gavin. Still, I won't be downhearted. Negative thoughts lead to negative actions. We'll find the money somehow. Are you sure about this? You've enjoyed yourself here, haven't you? Well, yeah, I have. And now that you've had a taster, wouldn't you like some more? I would, yeah. I can't trust you, can I? You can. I still care for you, Graham. I still love you. Shut up. I do. Listen to me. I say shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more of your lies. They're not lies. <laughs> You're despicable. So you do still fancy me, then? I can't believe you told him. Why did you tell him? I was mad at him. Oh, you stupid selfish. Look, if the wedding's off, then why is Royce looking so pleased with himself? The wedding isn't off. Oh. Roy didn't believe it. And you know why he didn't believe it? Why? Because Trisha told him that you ain't been able to do it for months. Now, why would she say that when we both know it ain't true? Well, come on, Scott. Why? Trisha... Trisha was telling the truth. I couldn't get it together with her. In fact, I haven't been able to manage to do it with... with anybody. Except you. And I think I know why. It's because I love you, Kelly. 
do. I can't help myself. I love you. I know. I know you do. No, don't. Kelly. Please. Please leave me alone. I'm getting married in two weeks. All I want is a normal life. No. You want me. I don't. What I'd like, what I'd really like, is to have my brother back. The one I could talk to like my best mate. That's all I want. You're just like her, aren't you? When I first met you, I really thought things were going to be different. I really did. But they're not. You're all the same. I, I try my best, I, I work hard at a relationship, and what happens? You turn around and you spit in my face. That's what she did. I gave her everything. And, and, and she just wasn't grateful. I'm not like that. You don't appreciate me any more than she did. You're not grateful, you just moan. You moan when I make the house look nice. You moan when I, I try to improve the way you look. And then when I buy you a very special ring and plan a romantic afternoon out together, what do you do? You turn me down. After everything I've done for you, 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 you run away. And I wouldn't mind, but I have tried so hard to make your life easier. How? Losing your job was the best thing that could have happened to you. You planted those drugs, didn't you? Because you wouldn't listen. <gasps> you don't need a job. I can look after you. Joseph and I wanted you at home, but would you listen? Would you? No. You know what I hate about women? The way they're never wrong. The, the way they never take the blame. Rebecca was the same. It was never her fault. She couldn't understand that for a relationship to work, you have to change. There's no such thing as the perfect person. They have to be molded. She was just like you. She wouldn't change. She resisted it, no matter how reasonable I was. You come anywhere near me. I loved her, you know. I loved her the way I love you. And you know what she did to repay me? She wanted to leave. After all I'd done for her, she wanted to leave. She hurt me, just like you're doing. I couldn't have that, could I? Not after all the time and love I'd put into the relationship. It wasn't fair. I couldn't let her do it. I, I couldn't let her leave. You can understand that, can't you? Can't you? Can't you, Rachel? She didn't kill herself, did she? You killed her! <laughs>